Welcome to another edition of Rust Rants. I'm John Rust, and I come on and go off about, well, whatever's honking me off today. So, we're four days into 2023, and if there's an award for the most tone-deaf tweet of the year, Fox Sports host Skip Bayless... He's got it locked up. Uh, Now, of course, the sports world is following the progress of Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin after he went into cardiac arrest and collapsed on the field during Monday night's Bills-Bengals game. Uh, Probably one of the scariest moments we've seen during an NFL game. Uh, The last report that we have is that Hamlin is in critical condition. He is on a ventilator, but... According to ESPN, Hamlin's family says that he is making progress, and of course, we hope that DeMar Hamlin makes a full recovery. Now, Skip Bayless, however, man, oh man, did you just totally bleep this whole thing up. Now, during Monday night's game, while DeMar Hamlin was being given CPR on the field, this is what Bayless tweeted out. Quote, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game. But how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant, end quote. Well, good that he tacked on how irrelevant the game was at the end of his tweet. And if you can't tell, folks, yes, I am being sarcastic when I say that. I mean, when you have a situation where someone has suffered a medical emergency, one that is likely to cause a game to be postponed, well, the game was actually postponed, like, the last thing you talk about is the game. And I'm not just as a sports reporter, but just as a human being. Uh, Well... And no surprise, Bayless got blasted by everyone and his mother for this tweet. I mean, it was the equivalent of that one episode of the old anime Robotech, or, or Super Dimensional Fortress Macris, whichever you prefer. But it's like the one episode of Robotech where Skip Bayless is playing the part of Planet Earth, and the Twitterverse is playing the part of the 4 million ship Zentradi fleet bombarding the planet. Uh, here's a, here, here are a couple of examples. Former NFL quarterback Robert Griffin III tweeted, quote, DeMar Hamlin's life is in the balance. Get your head out of your bleep. Uh, here's another one. Former NBA star Isaiah Thomas tweeted, quote, I hope they fire you, bro. For you to even think of the game is very sad. Now, on Tuesday, Bayless tweeted this out, quote, Nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I prayed for him and will continue to, end quote. So, he apologizes for the tweet. But then on today's episode of his show, Undisputed, Shannon Sharp, who, by the way, was so hacked off at Skip Bayless, he didn't even show up for Tuesday's episode of Undisputed. Well, Sharp said that he hoped Bayless would take down the offending tweet. Now, how did Bayless respond to that? By saying that he would not take it down because he stands by what he tweeted. What? All right, all right. Let me see if I get this straight. You apologize for the tweet, but then you say you stand by what you tweeted. Um, can someone in the comment section help me to try to understand this logic? Is logic even the right word to use here? Probably not. Hey, hey, look, I'm a defender of free speech, but I would think that if you apologize for a tweet, you should probably delete that tweet. But honestly, I don't even think it matters 
because that tweet has been screenshotted out the wazoo. So honestly, it's like big deal if if he doesn't delete the tweet. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe it, it would just you know look good from Bayless' standpoint that yeah, he admits his mistake and takes it down. But still, that tweet is out there in the internet for time immemorial. But but the the thing is, I mean, to apologize for a tweet. Then to say you stand by that tweet, it, it just makes no sense to me. I mean, Skip Bayless, you just need to grow a set, admit you bleeped up, and give an actual sincere apology. Because this is like saying, hey, I was wrong, but I'm not really wrong. You, you know, Londo Malari, one of my favorite characters from Babylon 5, he had a great line to describe these actions by Skip Bayless. Ah, arrogance and stupidity all in the same package. How efficient of you. Yes, Londo, arrogance and stupidity. That about sums up the situation with Skip Bayless. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media. That's Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Instagram. Check us out on KYCA.info. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Boy, oh boy, four days into 2023, and already the idiocy is strong with this year. Till next time, folks, I'm John Rust. I will see you soon.